Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday morning. Here's Duke. Duke's here to say hello. Good morning, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to Raincross Farms Makery. If you are watching from Craft Around the Clock, welcome. We are happy to be with you this morning. I am Robin, and this is Duke. And then behind the computer over here is Bill. And yes, so is. we've got we've got a fun craft this morning. And, and, and I'm hearing myself over here. I'm so good morning. When you pop on, say hello. Let us know you're watching. If you're new, let us know where you're watching from. Good morning, Lisa, 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 Teresa. Good morning. How is everybody? I guess it's getting to be uh, afternoon for some of you. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to pass off the dog. Come here, buddy. And we are going to Come get on. moving. Good boy. So, okay, fun craft this morning. Let me back up a little bit, though. We would we would love it if you would help us out by giving us some hearts on our page following our page and sprinkling the video to your other groups, to your page. Um, we would really appreciate it. It helps us out. And also, if you are, if you enjoy this video and you'd like to get notification a few minutes, good morning, Terry, good morning, Jackie. If you'd like to get notification a few minutes before we go live, so you don't miss any of the fun, um, you can text the word live to 208. 425 1960 it's also going to be in the pinned comments and it's absolutely free we will send you a short little text message to uh, let you know we're about ready to go on that way you can join us okay so a little bit of background I am a an independent designer for chalk couture but this craft is not going to use any any of the chalking any of our wonderful supplies but it's kind of inspired by some of the things we've done in the past. So a lot of the a lot of the projects that we have done on our on our page is um, have have kind of had a reindeer theme. So I was looking for some reindeer ideas. These are some I just want to show you. We're not going to make them. This was this was our um, November Club transfer. The reindeer parking, cute cute. And here's another one of our transfers, Reindeer Crossing. So these are things that we've made all with that reindeer theme. Let me get these off to the side. And then one day we made this cute little, this cute little reindeer out of a wood piece. So we've kind of done a lot with reindeer. So I was scouring Pinterest for some new ideas for reindeer crafts. And this is, I found this making a reindeer out of a towel. So I don't know if you've seen it. I did not create it myself. I, I saw several people do it on, on Pinterest, watch their videos, and uh, so I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay, Lisa, okay, Lisa, thank you. Okay, welcome Connie from Connecticut, and Shauna, good morning. And Lisa's here, and Cheryl Horn is here, and... Hey, Cheryl. Hey, Teresa, welcome, welcome, good afternoon. That still kind of is a strange thing, how, how the times are, are across the country. Some of you are afternoon and we're Hi, still Dawn. morning. Hi, Don, welcome. Okay, I, I'm going to sp spare you and not put on my reindeer antlers. I couldn't see it anyway, so I'm going to Yeah, that's gonna true. You're gonna, he's going to move bit. the camera. Okay, so let me tell you the supplies you're going to need to do this. And here he goes. Yeah, there we go. I don't know if I okay. did enough or not, but we're going to find okay. out. Yeah, I, I kind of need some space. Anyway, I have I created a supply list. If you are interested in getting a copy of this supply list, you can type, what did I say, towel towel in the comments and you'll get a link to this supply list and you'll also get a link to this template that we're going to be using for antlers and ears okay so let me go over some of the supplies that you'll need first of all you'll need a bath towel just a standard size bath towel this was from walmart it was probably about four dollars um, you could you could use something that you could find at a thrift store it doesn't have to be super fancy um, just a standard size. The, 
the way I'm going to show you how to do this craft, the bath towel will, will pretty much be unusable afterwards because we're going to use some hot glue, which reminds me, plug in your hot glue gun. Um, but you could, if you, if you had a problem with wasting a bath towel, you could do it with a needle and thread and, and probably have the same result and then be able to undo it and then use it as a bath towel. So just, just a disclaimer there. So you'll need a bath towel in a reindeer color. So um, I picked this medium brown. You could use a lighter brown. You could use a darker brown. You could go crazy and do white or red or pink or whatever. So a bath towel. You'll need a Christmassy floral pick. This, I believe, I got at Joann's, but they sell them at Walmart. They sell them at all the craft stores. So it's just a little floral pick. Your choice, sparkly or, or whatever you want, but you'll need one of those. Let me set that aside. You will need two googly eyes for the reindeer. And these, I got these in a pack from Walmart. These are, these are large wiggly eyes. They're about the size of a quarter, if just for perspective. They're about the size of a quarter, but it's not crucial. And I also, at Dollar Tree, found these afterwards. Here's a mixed size package of googly eyes from Dollar Tree. And they have some of the, they have some of the, the bigger ones in there too, and they have smaller ones. And my husband seems to think everyone should have adhesive backed googly eyes and you can stick them on the milk carton and on the celery and just they we have had googly eyes popping up just everywhere at our house everything's funnier with googly eyes okay let's see connie a purple girl you'd have a purple reindeer that would be cute okay am i missing anything oh jackie jackie enjoy your visitors hopefully they're they're fun visitors and not no. And not, we have a visitor too. It's, and again, family and friends the plumber. first, always. Yes, well maybe it's the plumber. I don't know, we have a plumber downstairs at this very moment. Okay, so let me move my googly eyes. Okay, you will also need a red pom-pom. I got these at Walmart. They are red palms. Okay. And it's, a, it's also about the size of a quarter, but it's round and they come in this bag and they're kind of smashed when you get them in the bag. And so you just take them and you kind of fluff them up. So that's about the size of a quarter. I have another, I have another option too that I'm going to yeah, show you. you. I'll show you once we get it made. You might want to do it. So you'll need just a single red pom-pom for the nose. Just a little You will need there. some, um, I'm saying red ribbon. You could use whatever color you wanted, but red would look cute. This is about seven eighths of an inch wide. You could use up to an inch or whatever, and you need about a yard and a half. I just got the whole spool. So you need about a yard and a half of um, about seven eighth inch wide ribbon. It, this is satin, you could use, you could use grow grain, you could use whatever your heart desires. So you'll need some of that, I put that up there. You will need some jingle bells. You'll need about four jingle bells. Now I'm using the ones that they don't really have a size. Okay, these I got, these I actually got at a thrift store, but they originally came from Dollar Tree, and this is the size I'm using. They're about the size of a nickel, so they're probably about maybe three quarters of an inch, but it's not crucial. Okay, you could use the smaller ones. These are from Dollar Tree, not Dollar Tree. These are from, these are from Walmart. These are a little smaller. Um, it's, it, it's up to you what size you want. Okay, so you'll need about four of those. And you will need some rubber bands. It doesn't matter what color. You want, you want kind of decent sized ones. Doesn't matter what color because we're either going to take them off or cover them up. So it doesn't matter, but you'll need about three rubber bands. You will need some pipe cleaners, two pipe cleaners, whatever color, it doesn't matter because they're gonna be hidden. And you will need some felt for the ears and the antlers. And you can use the dark brown, you can use, use whatever color. I, I'm going to use the light brown to go with this towel, but you can use whatever whatever floats your boat, whatever 
whatever sounds good to you. And then you'll also need a little bit of fiber fill. Um, if you don't have fiber fill, you could just use a couple of cotton balls. You don't need very much of it, just a little handful. And then you will also need, you'll also need the antler and ear template. Although you could create something yourself, but I, I've done one for you. Um, again, if you type in towel in the, in the comments, it will send you a link. Okay, hey, Linda, welcome. Granddaughter, and you, you're gonna wanna make one of these or more, more than one, okay? And you'll need hot glue and glue sticks and scissors and um, just some basic craft supplies. So anyway, let's get to making this. So let me show you. Heating up glue gun. Okay, so we're gonna start with our towel. And I'm going to take all this plasticky stuff off. Grab my scissors. Okay. And I'm even gonna take, I'm gonna take this little tag off. Okay. And now I don't know if you'll be able to see all of this, okay? So I'm going to open up the towel and I'm going to fold it the long ways and kind of see where the middle is. So there's a fold line right here and I'm gonna stick my hand in there and I'm going to find the middle and I'm just gonna mark it with either a piece of tape or I'm gonna just stick a pin in there so I, so I know where the middle of it is. And I'm gonna spread this out and I'm going to start rolling it up the long way, kind of like a jelly roll. So you, you aren't gonna be able to see all this, but trust me. So I'm gonna fold it over maybe an inch and then I'm going to start rolling. Let me get more of this up on the table. I'm sorry you can't see all of this, okay. but I'm getting it, I'm starting it rolling and I'm gonna roll it to the middle. Okay, and I'm trying to keep the ends even. So can you see, can you see what I'm doing? Hey, Wendy, welcome. Okay, so I'm gonna roll, it's not, it's not super, super tight. Okay, I'm gonna get that, and then I'm gonna go from the other, I'm gonna go from the top down, same thing. Just rolling it into a little log. Trying to keep the ends even. So this is what you'll have if you've done it right. You've got, you'll have two little logs here. I'm gonna take out that pin because I know I don't want that in there. And I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna make sure that the, the end part is, is kind of flush there. And I'm gonna line that up and then I'm gonna take one of my rubber bands. Make sure this is in the camera. I'm gonna take one of my rubber bands and I'm going to just put that right there to hold those. Okay. I can see it's kind of, I'm gonna pull from this end here. Okay. So, I should have done this horizontal. So I've got my end here. I'm going to take this whole thing and I'm going to flop it over and I'm going to I'm going to leave about eight and a half, eight, eight, eight and a half inches of this. So let me see. Okay, that's about eight. So I'm gonna peel it back, fold it back just a little bit. So I've got about eight and, an, eight and a half inches here. And I'm gonna make sure that is there. And I'm going to I'm going to rubber band these, just like that. Okay, now it kind of, it's kind of unwrapping, so I'm gonna tighten it up just a bit. Okay. Now this is what I'm gonna do. You can see how here it's kind of got a split, like he's got two, two legs. We want that, but when we fold it over, we don't have it here. So we want to kind of make a, fake split in here. So we kind of roll it backwards on itself. 
So again, we've kind of got that, that split right there. Okay, now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ribbon and I'm gonna pull off, oh, maybe three quarters of a yard and we're gonna tie a bow around this. My husband's not here to help comments. So what you just got here, what you made. We are making a reindeer out of a bath towel. It's gonna be super cute. Okay, so I'm going to put this a couple inches above where this little decorative, where this decorative little doodad is. And I'm going to snip this off. Good. Wendy, welcome. Good afternoon. Deanna, welcome. Okay, so again, about a, about an inch, inch or so above that. And I'm going to tie this just in a shoelace bow. Right there. And trim that up just a bit. Okay, now again, I this keeps wanting to come out, so I'm just gonna shove it back up there. Again, I'm I kind of folded this back so it makes so it makes a split there. Now I'm gonna take my glue gun. You could do this with you could do this with um, with, with a needle and thread if you didn't want to, if you didn't want to um, make your towel unusable. But I'm just gonna put a little line of hot glue in there to kind of hold it so that split remains there. Okay, once I have that tied, I can take off this rubber band. And then I'm going to do the same thing here with this bottom part to just kind of hold it, hold it in place so it doesn't want to unroll. I'm going to just take a little line of hot glue and line that up, hold it there. So it looks like he has two, two front legs and two back legs. Okay, so if, it, if I go too fast or if I'm confusing, Please ask me a question. This wants to unroll, so I'm gonna tack it down there. Okay, so you see what I've done? I've, I've made little, little legs, and it's tied here. Next, we're going to make the head. Okay. So we're going to take this part here that's folded, and we are going to Fold it over. To about right there. Okay, see what I've done? I just I just folded it over and I'm gonna take another rubber band and I'm gonna go around this entire set here. Good morning, Kathy. Okay, so if you're just joining us, we're making a, a reindeer out of a bath towel. Super cute. And if you are interested in the supply list, I don't have a set of instructions, but I do have a supply list available. So if you type towel in the comments, you'll get a, a link to this set of, of the supplies that you need and also a set of uh, this template that you'll need for the, the ears and the antlers. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to attach some jingle bells. So I'm going to, I'm going to glue, I could sew, but I'm going to glue one jingle bell right here at this bow. Glue that down, let it sit. And 
Welcome, Valerie. I haven't, I didn't see your name. Did I say, did I say good morning to Kathy? Welcome, welcome. Okay, so I'm gonna let that sit. So I've got a little jingle bell on my bow. Now I'm gonna take my pom-pom and that's going to be his nose. So I'm just going to put a dab of glue on there and I put that, you can kind of tell where the center is because you can kind of feel the, feel where the towel rolled up. So here's his little nose. Next, we're going to get our ribbon again and we are going to put on his uh, harness, I guess. So the harness is gonna go above above his nose, it kind of looks like a headband. Okay. And I want this, I want this kind of snug. And I could tie it, but I'm just gonna glue it. And I'm, I'm just covering up that rubber band. I could pull it off if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. So I'm going to glue those ends and let that set. And then glue this end. And let that set, not burn myself. Okay. So here's his little harness as he's pulling the sleigh. And then I'm gonna take these other three jingle bells and I'm going to put them on because you know they have bells on their harnesses. So I'm going to center the one in the middle that down and then I'm gonna put one about right there that set and then one over here so and again you could use you could use smaller jingle bells I kind of kind of did the go big or go home so I did I did the larger ones they're about the size of a nickel maybe whatever you can get your hands on. So he's got, he's got his little bells on his harness. And then next we will put on, we'll put on his eyes, his little googly eyes up above the harness. So put a drop of glue there. Kind of close together, but not so close together that he looks sinister. Hey, I don't know if I don't know if I've got you mesmerized and no one's commenting, or whether the comments have have uh, have stopped. I'm I'm hoping for the mesmerized. Okay, so keep me company here. Okay, so here here we have his little eyes, his nose. Now we need to work on. We're gonna do. We're gonna give him a little some ears. So. I'm gonna put him aside there and I'm gonna get out my felt. This is cashmere tan. Again, go with what matches your towel or what goes with your towel. It does, it's not gonna be an exact match and that's gonna be okay. And then I've got my template here. So I'm going to, I'm gonna cut this apart. Okay, and this is what I found. If you take, this is like a nine by 12 piece of felt. If you fold it over, you don't have to cut it out four different times. If you fold it over, hold on. You don't have to cut it out. Turning down his volume on his phone. Okay, so you need to cut four of these. You'll have, you'll have two of them front and back. And if you, if I fold it over, I can pin that down and then I only have to cut it out twice instead of four times. So I'm going to pin it down. I could have had this done ahead of time, but you kind of need to see how to do this. I'm, con I'm concentrating on what I'm doing. Hey, Dolores. Hello, good morning, Judy. Oh, Cheryl, you're mesmerized too. Welcome, Sandra. Hello, dear. I learned that word. You proud of me? Hey, Valerie, welcome. Thank you. Yes, it is adorable, and I can take absolutely no credit for it. But I've got some other ideas, too. 
Okay, so I've got these, and then you can see here where I where I cut out the ears from a practice one. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm not going to cut this out twice. I'm just going to fold it over and cut it once. We have some wind blowing. I don't know about you. We got we ha we're having a windy day. It's blowing open the back door. Next thing you know, we'll have chickens in the house. Okay, hi Linda. Hey Wendy. Okay, so I need two ears. And so I'm going to cut these out. I'm going to kind of cut it generous around the outside of that. So now, because I folded it, I have my two ears. And let me cut out my antlers. Ouch. I just stabbed myself with a pin. Now, if you don't like these, this antler shape, Feel free to improvise. But this worked for me. Those tight little corners. This is where we probably should have the overhead camera, but we are uh, we are going back to the basics because we've heard Facebook likes just using just using a simple camera and not using the extra the extra apps that we've been using. So we're, we're kind of doing a test to see if we can raise our, raise our viewership by playing by Facebook's rules. You know how that goes. So speaking of viewership, if you are, if you are following our page, thank you very much. We certainly appreciate it. If you're not, please consider following our page. We are attempting to get a thousand followers by New Year's Eve. Uh, we are we are creeping up on 700, so that's a big that's a tall order, but we're confident we can do it. So please follow our page and give us some hearts and sprinkle our video. Okay, hope that's not your good sewing. Well. It is, but it's like a pattern. So I'm, I'm using fabric. So you're gonna have to cut me some slack here, Cheryl. My regular scissors probably wouldn't cut the felt and I'm using a pattern. So I'm using my fabric scissors on paper. So, mom. <laughs> Sound like my home ec teacher. Don't use those scissors on paper. Okay. So let me take these pins out so I don't stab myself. So I have two, two, four antlers and two ears. Don't need those anymore. Set, set those aside. So I have two antlers and two ears. This is what I'm gonna do for the ears. I'm gonna give it a little dimension. So I'm going to take it and just kind of fold it like that, like fold it over maybe a quarter of an inch so that it, it kind of gives it some shape. And I'm just going to put a dab of glue there and a dab of glue there and hold it till it sets. So it has a little bit of shape. Okay. Same thing here, I'm gonna go over that way. Okay, so a little dab of glue on this side, a little dab of glue on this side, and hold it till it sets. And don't burn yourself in the process. So, cute little reindeer ears. I'm assuming this is what reindeer ears look like because I, I don't remember being that close to a reindeer. Oh, I have, I have fed a reindeer up in Oak Glen. Okay, so reindeer ears, those are ready to go. Now the antlers, I could sew around the outside. I'm just gonna glue it. It's not gonna, it's not gonna take any, uh, it's not gonna take any pressure or anything. So I'm going to, and I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need another glue stick. Okay, so I'm just going to go around the outside. I'm gonna leave the inside open because I'm going to end up sticking that pipe cleaner in there. So I'm just gonna do a thin layer of glue. Mm -hmm. Oops. And again, 
the goal is to not burn myself with the hot glue. So I'm going to leave this, I'm going to leave this bottom part open because again, I'm going to be sticking up the pipe cleaner in there. I'm back. You're back. Uh, come on, buddy. Did, did I give, did you find the checkbook? Yeah. Got the checkbook, got the guy out. It was definitely beyond my pay grade, so I'm very you, thankful for plumbers. You who know love doing. plumbing issues. Oh, yeah. They're my favorite. Hmm. Okay. I'd rather do electrical than plumbing. Okay, down you go, buddy. Okay. There you go. Good boy. Hey, Ken. Hey, Ken. He has no sound on his end. Did you turn on your hearing aids? Thank you, Cheryl. Hello, Nancy. Yes, Oak Glen, California. We are, oh, hello, Debbie. Um, oh. Yes, we are originally from Southern California. We moved uh, two, almost three years ago to Idaho when we retired. But yes, we spent, we spent lots of time up in Oak Glen. Are you oh, yeah. from that area? Yes, on the outside, they, they have that little pen that has the reindeer. So I have been close to a reindeer. I have fed it from the, from the little vending machine. Our boys did a lot of that too. Okay. Oh boy. So I got the outside. I, I've probably missed some comments. I was going to say, uh, you want me to go back and read through them or do you want to? No, well. I'm going to hit likes on okay. them anyway. Because okay. I, I appreciate people, you know, they're calling up for the okay. towel. So I've got. Whoop, 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 whoop. Wendy's okay, here. So is it is it sending it to it? Okay, it's so info sent to Yeah, we're, we're doing okay. good. So I just went around the outside, so this whole center part is open. Okay, and I'm going to do it again real quick on this. Okay, this is back a ways. Christina, did you figure out what we were making? She yeah, I told her. Making. I told her. But if, if anybody else is just popping on, we are making a reindeer out of a bath towel. And right now I'm working on the antlers. I will show you what we've got. Let's see. There are lots of people asking for the instructions, so that's good to well, see. Not instructions. It's the supply list. The supply list. Yep. Yeah. You kind of. It's kind of hard to write out the instructions. You kind of have to. I don't know. I'm visual, so I kind of needed to see it. Um, you could also go on Pinterest or YouTube, and you could probably find some other somebody else's video. Well, I'm not going to send you to somebody else's video. I'm showing you how to do it. And you can do a replay on here. You can do a replay. And then also you can go to our, our this will be posted on YouTube within an hour of us being done here. Our YouTube channel. Yeah, our YouTube. And it will be, I'll have that up and going probably within the hour. And we'd appreciate some looks over there, too, just because. Okay. Sandra, hello. And Cheryl is mesmerized. Yes, it got really quiet. I didn't know if I was missing, <laughs> if I was missing uh, comments or if I was just mesmerizing everyone. Apparently, Dolores it was... Says, Dolores it says, it's very cute. You, you can hear my wind, our wind blowing. Yeah. Nancy, we're not in Washington. We're right next to Washington. We are in Idaho. We are just outside of Lewiston, which is on the border of Washington, Washington and Idaho. Yeah, the wind, yeah thank you for following, the, Cindy. And the thing was, is the, um, the wind wasn't blowing when we started. It was, no, it it was a light up, breeze. It comes up fast. And all of a sudden, we were getting blown out here. Okay, so... I've got my antlers done. I left this little bottom part open. We're not going to stuff the entire antler, but we are going to stuff part of it. So I'm going to take a pipe cleaner and I'm going to fold it in half because I want it a little stiffer than a single, but it doesn't need to be too stiff. And I'm going to just stick it in this opening and kind of curve it around that antler shape and I'm just going to push it in till it till it's it's in there and it, it kind of gives me a little bit of you know to be able to to bend it and fold it just a little bit okay, and again fold it in half and stick it in and go follow that curve 
Okay. I don't know if uh, Cheryl wanted to make sure you weren't using your good cutting scissors. I well, scissors I had it, it's a whole it's a whole story. It's yes, a whole it, was, it was it was a kind of it was a decision. I was cutting fabric, but there was paper pinned to the fabric. Oh, there you go. And so what are you going to do? Thank you, Ken. Ken sent you a hundred stars. Awesome. Thank you for the stars. Oh, you have a special pair just for. <laughs> Well, Cheryl, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm proud of you. <laughs> you are a much more dedicated crafter, protector of the scissors than I am. I guess I could have cut out the pattern with my paper scissors and then pinned it down and then... But yeah, yeah. That's right. Debbie I'll says just ask for a new pair of fabric scissors for Christmas. Debbie says she's new to the page and she's from Northern Indiana. Awesome. Welcome. Thank Glad you. Glad to have you. Spent, spent some summers in... Uh, where would Laporte, Indiana? I believe that's northern. That's where so your grandmother. That's where my grandparents were. and aunt and uncle. Okay, so this next part is what I'm going to do because we're going to end up gluing these on, and I want to give this a wider base. So I've got, I've got the pipe cleaner in here, but I want to kind of make this more round. So that's where this stuff comes in, and I'm going to use some little tweezers, but you could just use a. Uh, not a popsicle stick, a, a pokey stick. <laughs> Is that the I'm, comple term? I'm completely lost. A skewer. You could use a skewer. So I'm just going to take, you know, maybe this much. Again, you could use a cotton ball. And I'm just going to kind of stuff it in around that pipe cleaner, trying to get around, trying to get this a round base so that when I go to glue it I've got something I've got a base to glue it on so I'm not I'm not poking it way high up into the antler just around the opening oh and Fran's here hi Fran. hi Fran and this uh, push that in even further okay they're giving Ken a hard time because he said he had no sound on his end. So, oh, okay. Um, okay, same thing with this one. Just a little, a little bit of fiber fill or cotton ball, just to make this base a little bit broader. Sandra from Brazil watching. Awesome. That's Welcome. awesome. Thank you for chiming in. Yeah, you live right around the I don't corner know how to speak. in Angeles Oaks. I don't know how to, uh, we've been through Angeles Portuguese? Oaks. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to speak Portuguese. Portuguese, no. Okay. That's so, what I mean. again, I just kind of just got some cotton, some fiber fill in there to kind of give me a wider base when I go to glue it on. And so let's get to getting, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to run out of time. Okay. So here's hurry. my reindeer. The next thing I'm going to do where did my pick go? I've got my pick, and I've got somewhere, I've got my wire cutters. I'm going to cut this pick pretty close, pretty close there, and I'm going to do a lobotomy uh -oh. on this guy right here. I have one of those. So I'm just going to, I'm kind of <clears throat> poking a hole in here so that I can stick this pick in. Debbie <clears throat> says she's very close to the port. Losing my voice. Okay. And I'm going to put a big old wad of glue here. First time watching, Yvonne. Thank you for coming in. Okay. Okay. Yes, she is a CC designer. I am, but we are, we are not doing we are not doing any chalk couture today. You you're you're going to get a break. So, I'm just sticking this pick in the top of his little head and letting that set up. I might add more glue later to stabilize it. Cindy says she lives in Idaho Falls. Awesome. That's, that's a yeah, couple we hours, through, couple we hours through, south. Yeah. We drove through when last year when we were driving down that way. We went down there. Okay. And then next I'm going to put on the ears. So I've got I've got these little ears. I'm going to put them, I'm going to glue them right between this top layer here. There's like four layers of towel, but I'm going to glue it in right between those top two layers. 
need to get to moving. Got five minutes, baby. Uh, I can, I can do it. Says, absolutely adorable. I can do it. We're almost done. Okay. So hot glue, and and they don't have to be perfect because he's he's a he's a wonky little reindeer. Wonky reindeer. Wonky little reindeer. So there's his little ears. Okay. And next we are going to put on the antlers. Okay, so again, I've got that base, that round base. So I'm going to, let's see, I'm gonna put the, put the antlers on the inside. I'm gonna put a lot of glue on here. I need to look at him. Ooh, dripping, dripping on I'm my dripping. hand, right on my thumb. Don't scream on live Facebook. You'd be proud of me. I am I'm not proud screaming. Of you. <laughs> Sandra says beautiful. Thank you. Debbie says so okay. cute. And that's oh yeah. and Lisa says, he's so cute. Like that, you know. Okay, so once I get him settled, then I will I'll probably go back and anchor him a little bit better. Again, more glue. Try not to burn myself. That was in Portuguese. I'm that actually was... clicking on C translation to be able to read it. <laughs> okay, so here he is. Here he is. Again, I can stabilize him again when when I'm when that glue has set. Here's a couple here's a couple of ideas while I have a minute or two. If you want to be extra, Dollar Tree has light up blinky reindeer noses you could instead of instead of the little uh pom-pom you could get one of these uh, can you see him blinking you could glue on one of those if you wanted to be extra wouldn't that be cool okay a couple other ideas um what do you do with this guy well originally i was going to put him in my bathroom over, you know, I have my fancy uh, Christmas towels. I was going to drape him over the bar, over the towels, so he's like he's sitting over, presiding over the towels. Then I made a sample one and I, I needed a place to store it. And so I put it on the back of my chair. Is that not cute? Can you That's see That's so him? cute. He's kind of leaning over. So it'd be a cute little chair sitter for your for your uh, for your dining room table. You, you probably can't see it anyway. Ask me a cute, question. cute, cute. Another idea you could do is don't limit yourself to bath towels. There's no reason you couldn't take oh. like a a hand towel and do the same process. Roll it up. Thank roll you, them up Jen. the same way fold it over, and you could do a little miniature version of the reindeer. Okay, so do a whole reindeer family. If you do, I want to see pictures. I want to see what you've done with our little reindeer. So I hope you enjoyed this. It's a non-chalking craft, but that's okay. If you, if you want to know more about chalking, follow our page. We have getting close to probably a hundred live videos that we've got saved on our page. So uh, take a look at those. And I think, I think our time is up. So thank you so much for joining us. Please like and follow our page, share it. If you want, if you want the supply list, type towel in the comments. And otherwise, we will see you craft around the clock. We'll be on again next week. We'll be trying to post some of our other lives. And anyway, I'm, I'm done talking. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you so much. Make yourself a cute little reindeer. Is he not the, the cutest stinking little reindeer? I think so. Anyway, have a great rest of your week, and we will see you later. Bye-bye.